Hi everyone. I'd like to give you a short introduction into managing materials with Material Manager and how you can efficiently manage and find materials with the attributes, with the search feature and uh, some other features. So um, if you have materials in your projects you might want to save them for later use or you want to go back, you might want to go back to these and um, you can use different methods on filtering presets. Currently the Material Manager has presets from, from ourselves, from Vispark, which are predefined with attributes. So you can filter these uh, clicking on the attributes button. Um, you can just select different ones and then just view the ones that match these attributes. And you can add your own. So um, if you have your preset, uh, and you can just click on the plus button, and then add these attributes to to this uh, preset. So um, filtering this one will result in showing the attribute. So that's the most simple method. But um, you can also create your own attributes. With a new version, Pro version 119, you can um, add your own attributes. Let's say um, you have a specific attribute not appearing in this list. Then you can just change th these attributes by typing a different one. And then you can assign these to your presets. You can also select multiple presets and add these and later on filter by these attributes. These will stay. Once you close Material Manager and reopen it, they will still be there and uh, you, you can filter. So um, the next thing, if you're working in projects, you might also want to um, define some project settings or project parameters for, uh, for materials. So when later on you want to find specific presets of that project, uh, you can just type the project or whatever you want. So the, the thing is you can filter by, um, by search. Let's say um, you want to uh, just see any presets that have red in their name or um, in the comment field, you type this. But you can also just write comments. Say, for example, you say project, whatever the name of your project is, client um, manager etc 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 so um, while you type it's assigned to the preset and if you now search for for example for um, high rise only this preset will will be shown so that's a very good method of um, organizing your files and later on finding them uh, let's say for example uh, client Whatever project high rise, and now if you type high rise, you'll see all the presets that have that uh, string in the comment field. So the next thing is um, you can assign multiple previews to your presets. For example, uh, let me see if I can find one. This one um, has multiple previews assigned and you can go through clicking here or with a cursor uh, on your keyboard. And you can also just basically add um, renderings of, uh, of your project um, to a preset just by clicking the plus button. Let me just look for some image. and it's automatically assigned and saved with a preset. So if you then filter 
your uh, your presets by project, for example, and you want to see those, the next one in the results list will be shown, which is a very good way of going through previews um, of your materials or project images even that uh, help, will help you to, um, to find the materials that you need. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. You can uh, collapse the attributes, you can uh, view everything in list view, um, you can organize uh, by and, and sort by comment, you can, you can sort in different methods, uh, and, so, and so on and so on. So there are many ways of how you can uh, reassign, re, um, relocate your materials and use them in your projects. All right, I hope that helps. Um, try out the demo version if you haven't and uh, let us know your thoughts. You can report anything uh, through this form while in beta. And we're curious about what, how you use Material Manager and um, if you have any suggestions. All right, that's it. Thank you.